Everybody. My name is Elena Murang and I'm from Sarawak, Malaysia, which is on the island of Borneo. And today I'm going to share with you some songs from my father's tribe, the Kalabi people. And I just sang for you three welcoming songs. Um, whenever, whenever we have visitors coming to the longhouse, whether it's a wedding or a meeting or anything, we always welcome the guests and say how beautiful everybody looks. Um, Yes, yeah, so I want to welcome on stage my two wonderful guitarists, Josh and John. Uh, 
The next song I'm going to sing for you is called Bomong Jae. It's one of my favorite songs. It's on my album. And it's a song in the Kenya language. It's about being together. Um, it's about being together with my really, really true friends under the moonlight by the river. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, this, who knows what this is called, this instrument? Sape, yeah. Uh, this is called the Sape, and it's from uh, the center of Borneo. Uh, so from Indonesian Borneo and from Sarawak, Malaysia, where I'm from. And it's usually played by people who live in the upper rivers. And actually, it didn't used to be um, played with singing. Uh, but my teacher started singing with it, and I take after him a lot, so we start singing with it. Um, and it also didn't used to be played by women. It was taboo for women to touch the instrument. Um, so when I was about 12 years old, uh, seven of my female cousins and I, we were learning dancing, and the dancing goes along to this music. And we were... We, half of us wanted to learn the sape so that half of us could dance and we could choreograph a little better. So we just approached um, the, one of the masters, Matthew Ngao, and we said, hey, can you teach us the sape? And obviously we were quite young back then, we didn't really understand what we were doing, but apparently he went back and thought, like, should I be teaching these girls the sape? It's taboo, what's the community going to think of me? And he taught us anyway. Um, and that was about a long time ago, <laughs> about 15 to 20 years ago. <laughs> and now I'm really happy to see so many people starting to pick up this instrument back home. So the next song I'm going to play for you is an instrumental song, which is how it would have been uh, back, in, back in the longhouse and in the village. And usually we would um, have dancers with it as well. The song is called Lan E Tu Yang. Um, again, it means being with my very, very true friends.
Thank you. I went back to the village um, in Barrio. Barrio is part of the Calabit Highlands. Again, it's about 20 minutes from the um, in Malaysian-Indonesian border, so it's really in the interior. So I went back to the village about two years ago, and I was sitting in the market, and one of the grandmothers, or we say the pot, uh, our grandmothers, they have long ears. So she, was, she came in with her long ears and her heavy earrings, and like Wellington boots and a jumper and this uh, pink uh, beanie. And she was like, hey, you, <laughs> tomorrow you come to my house, 9 a.m., you learn to sing. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> And so 9 a.m., I was at her house, and she had just, she'd probably woken up at 4 a.m., gone to the farm, come back, and brought all the produce home. And she went, she changed out of her clothes, and she put on her most beautiful beads and her beautiful costume. And she said, okay, what do you want to learn how to sing? And I said, I don't know, like, what songs are there to learn? And for me, it's very sensitive to ask the elders uh, to teach me songs because um, the people converted to Christianity just in the 1930s to 70s, so still quite fresh. And a lot of our art and our music was from the pre-Christian times and linked to previous belief systems. So she taught me this song. It's a little bit scandalous. Um, I always say it's a love song. Um, but it's actually more a seduction song. <laughs> so it's sung from the point of view of a young girl and she's watching the leaves dry on the longhouse floor and she's calling out to a lover to come and lie with her to shield her from the cold wind. But every verse she's calling out to a different man. <laughs> My dad says it's very innocent.
Thank you. Thank you. Tiga tawai. Uha. 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 The last song that we have for you is one of the more uh, well-known songs in Borneo. Uh, from the Kenya and Kalabi people and the Kayan people as well. If you know it, please song, sing along. If you don't know it, you'll get it eventually and then sing along. Uh, this is a song that everybody in the longhouse will get up and dance in a long, 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 long line in circles going round and round. And they will even go inside people's rooms to wake them up and drag them into the line as well.
Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for being with us. <laughs>